There's a few changes made to the laws surrounding street racing in Washington state. As of January 1st, they're going to help deter illegal racing. With this new law, the definition of gross misdemeanor racing also includes drifting and other stunt driving. Cars used in racing can now be impounded with a 72 hour hold. Even private property, if publicly accessible, like parking garages or other off street facilities, are illegal to race on. And another piece of this law, uh, new law is that a person who promotes races or in any way aids illegal racing can be charged as an accomplice if something illegal happens. The Richland Police Department says they've seen a lot of illegal street racing in the last few years, and this new law means stronger enforcement and hopefully less racing. Because at the end of the day, we're promoting safety and we're trying to um, we're just trying to keep the motoring public safe. Whether you live in our city or just travel through our city for work or wherever you're going, we want to keep you safe. Um, and that's what this law will uh, help us uh, help us do. According to Officer Skinner with the RPD traffic unit, when a driver is arrested for street racing, the officer can at their discretion get it removed, whether that be impounding or towing. This is part of the new law. Another piece of that, if there's another racing conviction, the car isn't just impounded for a few days. If you're arrested for um, street racing, which is covered under the reckless driving statute, if you're arrested for it, the first time your car is going to be towed and, is, and it will not be released from the impound lot for 72 hours. Um, upon a uh, subsequent arrest and conviction, then you, you forfeit your car, so your car's gone. If you see something like illegal street racing, Officer S Skinner says see something, say something and report it to the police. He also encourages if you hear about a meetup or race happening, report that as well.